developing news. School countdown is on right now. Parents and educators waiting for a big decision from Rhode Island lawmakers and the governor whether the state will go forward two weeks from today with kids together in person in class amid COVID-19 distance learning or maybe a combination of the two. I'm News reporter Logan Wilbur joining us live in Providence. Governor Raimondo set to hold a news conference less than one hour from now. Patrick, today would have been the first day of school, and as you mentioned, that is now pushed back two weeks, and we're expecting to hear from the governor with any decisions and recent plans for reopening the state schools. Governor Raimondo will hold briefings all week long as the state prepares to reopen schools. Just last week, Raimondo said she was looking at five criteria to decide if it is safe to reopen for in-person learning. Operational readiness, testing, contact tracing, data, case prevalence, um, and Sunday, we're going to see if we check all those boxes. Teachers unions and principals have voiced opposition to reopening plans. Numerous districts have already made the decision opting for virtual learning for the fall or at least to start the year. For weeks, the emergency management agency has been working with districts to provide personal protective equipment to make sure each school is prepared for in-person learning as possible. An extra measure announced by Governor Raimondo on Monday is a new education operations center. This edu education operations center is going to operate very much like the EOC that we stand up during a hurricane or a blizzard or some other kind of natural disaster. The governor says the center staffed by the National Guard and other state agencies will be able to send teams to schools for testing and contact tracing should an outbreak occur. And a spokesperson for the governor's office says she is also expected to provide an update on nursing home visitations. And as the weather's getting nicer, she will discuss the Take It Outside campaign. Reporting live in Providence, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News. And make sure you stay with WPRI 12 today and WPRI.com. Our coverage will continue on the school countdown with today's Rhode Island State briefing at 1 o'clock here live. Then a wrap up of all the developments starting live at 5.